All right, good people, your workout for today. All right, you guys have a bunch of stations that you guys are gonna be going through, but the most important part is that you guys are gonna put in max effort for today, all right? So the way it's gonna work, you guys have three different stations. Uh, each one has a different rep count or a different movement that you guys are gonna do to start, all right? But you guys are gonna start off station number one with a 400 meter run. Once you guys come back in, you guys are now gonna take on three attempts trying to get as many toes to bar as you can each attempt, all right? So I'm gonna hop onto the rig, do as many toes to bar as I can. Let's say it's 10 of them, cool. I'm gonna drop down, I'm gonna rest one minute. Once I rest that minute, I'm gonna hop back up, I'm gonna go for my second attempt on toes to bar, and I'm gonna do that one more time, again, completing all three of my attempts, all right? Once I am done there, I'm going straight to station number two. Now I have to run a 600 meter run, and then once I come in, I have one attempt at max kettlebell swings. Recommended weight today is a 70 uh, for the gents and 55 for the ladies. Again, just one max attempt, just trying to get as many swings as you can. Once you guys are done there, you're gonna rest one minute and then you're gonna move on to station number three. All right, station number three. You guys are gonna run an 800 meter run. And then once you guys come in, you guys now have two attempts of a max overhead hold or a handstand hold, all right? If you're not comfortable being upside down for a long period of time, then uh, challenge yourselves to a max overhead hold with a barbell, plate, whatever object you might have. We'll show you with a barbell today. And you're gonna rest two minutes in between each one of those two attempts. All right, so we'll show you all of your movements. You guys all have your distances mapped out. So for your toes to bar, nice and easy, jump up onto the rig, nice and big kip, get your toes to physically press that bar each and every single time. If you're not there yet, just pick a spot and be consistent, whether it's your chest, your armpits, or whatever the case might be, all right? If you guys need, uh, you guys know your progressions, you can use the bands or the boxes, just make sure that your feet land in front of it each and every single time and get your feet up as high as you can, all right? So that's, that'll be your station number one. Um, once you guys come back from your uh, run, your station number two, you guys have kettlebell swings, all right? So you're gonna hold the kettlebell with both hands, hike it between the hips, get it all the way up and overhead, bring your head through that window, make sure that your arms are locked down, um, and that you guys are using your hips, all right? Again, meant to be heavy for that one. Next, you guys uh, have your uh, an option for an overhead hold or a handstand. So for your handstand, you guys are simply gonna kick up onto the wall, feet are on the wall, make sure that you guys have your head through that window and you're keeping everything nice, tight, and stacked the entire time. All right, um, if you guys aren't there yet where you guys are comfortable being upside down, then you guys are going to grab an object, most likely a barbell, go ahead and bring it all the way up and overhead. Again, bring your head through that window just like you would be if you were upside down. Hold it, keep everything nice and stacked, and then uh, once you guys are tired or you guys need to, bring the barbell down, and then you will go in for your second. All right, but that's your workout for today. Have fun. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace.